a healthcare facility not fit to treat the ill, posing a risk to both staff and patients. This clinic serves nearly 20 villages. Three nurses and two assistants provide primary health care here. We come here for help and sometimes we attend away because there is no medication. The service is poor here. We reported the condition of this clinic to the Provincial Department of Health and the former MEC promised to attend to this problem but nothing has happened. The health department says the clinic is earmarked for an upgrade. The procurement processes, design processes that would lead up to the construction of the clinic have already been initiated. But there are internal processes that have had to be initiated before the matter is referred to the Department of Public Works to finalize the procurement processes. But I can confirm that this clinic has been approved, but it's a long process that has to be followed in line with government uh, procurement policies uh, under the Public Finance Management Act. The community wants to see a temporary intervention. As we know for the fact that the Department of Health is going to take time. How is it going to take time? It's having its processes. As a politician, I would not know how many months before they start to build the, the clinic. But now you are having a pandemic, which is uh, what you call the COVID, and people are sitting outside when you are going to look the the situation that this clinic is at. It's something that we cannot uh, accept. That is why we sat down with business people that are going to assist as of now. Patients who require specialized medical services still have to travel long distances to access it. Lubabalo Tata, SABC News, Eastern Cape.